Hi, in this video I will show you how to create easy capelet prior stitch. You need some yarn, needles that match to the weight of the yarn and cable needle. First, cast on evenly divisible number of stitches on 8. Beginning your knitting, create knit 1, purl 1 ribbon, total of 4 rows. To create more visible pattern, knit stitches from the back loop. Purl stitches normally. So, purl, knit from the back loop, 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 and purl. Keep on repeating this pattern until you have a total of 4 rows of the ribbing. After the first 4 rows, your knitting should be look like this. Next, take your cable needle. Slip 3 stitches to the cable needle. Then, turn the cable needle. Slip yet 1 stitch more to the cable needle. Then, knit from the left needle, knit one from the back loop, purl, and knit one from the back loop. Next, knit from the cable needle, purl the first stitch from the back loop. Knit one from the back loop, purl one, and knit one from the back loop. Then purl one from the left needle. Repeat the pattern again. Slip three stitches to the cable needle, turn the cable needle, and slip one more stitch. Then knit one from the back loop, purl, and knit from the back loop. Next, knit stitches from the cable needle, purl from the back loop, knit from the back loop, purl and knit from the back loop. Purl one stitch from the left needle. Then repeat the pattern again. Take the cable needle, slip three, turn the cable needle, 
and slip one more stitch. Then knit from the back loop, purl and knit from the back loop. Then knit stitches from the cable needle. Purl one from the back loop. Knit from the back loop. Purl and knit from the back loop. Purl yet one more stitch from the left needle. Repeat this pattern until the end of the row. Then it should be look like this. Next I knit the ribbing total of 7 rows. After 7 rows, the knitting soapy look like this. Then I will move the stitches with the cable needle again. Slip 3 stitches to the cable needle. Turn the cable needle. Slip 1 more stitch to the cable needle. Knit one from the back loop from the left needle, purl and knit one from the back loop. Then knit stitches from the cable needle. Purl first from the back loop. Knit from the back loop. Purl and knit one from the back loop. Purl one stitch from the left needle. Repeat the pattern. Slip three stitches, turn the cable needle and slip one more. Then knit three stitches from the left needle. Then knit 4 stitches from the cable needle. And yet purl one from the left needle. Repeat this pattern until the end of the row. When you move the stitches with the cable needle, be careful not to twist the cable needle. If you do, the stitches will be placed on the right needle on the wrong order. That's why I slip first 3 stitches on purlwise and the 4th stitch on knitwise. So it's easier to me to notice if I'm holding the cable needle on wrong way. After the moving stitches, knit again the ribbing and then just move the stitches again. So repeat these two steps until the knitting is on desired length. And here you can see how the ribbing will be look like.
Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.